Good evening, everybody. How are you? Cool. I cannot believe we are here already again. Crazy town. Right. <clears throat> oh, pling pling. Oh, look, Be Crafty's live on Facebook. Right. <clears throat> I do have a plan. Which is marvellous. Oh, I haven't zoomed in. Look how much on my desk you can see. I don't think that's good news for anyone, is it? Zoomed out I am even. Let's just do it all. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah. Well done to you all. Hi, Alison. Hi, Linda. Hi, Susan. Hi, Joe. Hi, Caroline. How marvellous. I'm going to move my little post-its. Fantastic. Have we all had a good week? Well, you know, that's pretty good, I think. They're all still going. Bognum on a me. <laughs> Shireen, I worry about you. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie. So I hope everyone's had a good week. Um got through it okay with no major incident. Incidents seem to be, you know unavoidable but if we can keep them minor not major that is good news for those who are enjoying snacks i do have a chocolate orange but i've already eaten enough of it that now i feel bad <laughs> you're still making christmas cards oh whilst um caroline's talking about christmas cards i was having a bit of a think which is dangerous yes i know um but i was having a bit of a think and like many um crafters or people in the craft business um well our cobblers were holes in our shoes we never have to have cards and whatever so i was thinking in order to keep myself accountable i might set up an album in the be crafty stamps group where we try and do a card a week next year and then by the time christmas comes around we've got them what do you think is that a good idea? Does anyone want to join with me in that? Hello, Bex, darling. Does anyone want to join with me doing a little, do a little cardy thing next year? I'm not saying, you know, we'll always get them done. There'll be weeks we're missing, whatever. But I honestly got to Christmas with pretty much not having any. Um, So I'm thinking, Sue, watching with one eye as you've got double vision. So you can still see twice then. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had that once, you know. I had um, sudden onset double vision. Um, I was driving down the bypass, funnily enough to go and get my eyes tested. Um, and I had sudden onset double vision and it just came on. And I had to go and have CT scans and all sorts and nothing. They basically just said, you've just got to wait for it to go. So, which I did and it did. And, then, and I woke up one morning and there was just one of everything. So that was a relief. Um, about a week or so later. And... It's never happened again. Bex, I've only got one eye working too. Yeah, that's because your naughty pony Daisy Donk smacked you in the eye. Right. <clears throat> so, yeah, so is everyone up for that? You say that every year and it never happens. I, I say every year and it, and it never happens too, Alison, which is why I'm saying it to you good people, you see. Because that way, you guys will hold me accountable. You won't let me get away with it. That's why I'm telling you. And Alison, now you've said it too, you see, you've got to join in my album. And you never know, it might coincide with some of the challenges that Sally does as well. So it could, you know, <clears throat> it could be a super goodness, couldn't it? You have permanent double vision. Oh my goodness. I would fall over a lot. I fall down in any, in any way. I do. People that know me would testify this. Right. <clears throat> so I have a plan. Mixing it up. I've got a plan. So I'm going to use my Dilusions Classics journal tonight. And I'm going to be using... You are going to go at this challenge. I think you should, Bex. I think you should. Right. So, <clears throat> in fairness, what causes double vision? They've got no idea what caused mine. It came and then it went. And that was that. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you saw, when I announced um, tonight's Try Out Tuesday, I said we were going to be using the Doodle Art Dragonflies. And look, I have prepped. Don't everybody faint at once. It will not help the double vision. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but look at that. Isn't that lovely? 
but we'll do some more of them and I'll show you. And the reason I'm, I want to do a bit more prep is so that I know my colour scheme. So I know where I'm going. So tonight I'm going to be using blues and yellows and obviously the inevitable green that comes when you mix those two. Alright, so I've got some off, you know, um, like mop-up sheets. Okay, and some butterfly ink papers now if you haven't seen the butterfly ink papers we are going to be doing um these are going to go back onto the craft store in january we do have some in stock right now um so the butterfly ink set though what it was it was a really good set and in the set you had both paperweight stock and card weight okay so for example if you wanted to use this as a card front you could because it's there ready okay because the cool thing is you have the designs there were four designs in the sheet in the pack this was one of them this was the other one and you also had these two okay in the pinks in the oranges now with these so you had them in a4 a5 and you also had them In the A6s, and again, that is in both the paper and the card, so you could really mix them up to suit your projects. And then we also had border strips. Oh, look, there's one of the A some more of the A4s. And I'm hoping to do more papers next year. So if it is something you like, do let me know. Right? And the border strips and the textures, these fit perfectly on our um MDF. ATC coins is what I mean, sorry, not texture discs. Um, <clears throat> you know, so you've got all those to play with as well. If only, you know, you need... Yeah, thank you for doing the link, Shireen. Um, you know, if, if you just want to... So, so for example, I'm going to use it tonight with some art journaling. But you can, if you want to, put together... Do some sort of inky effect cards, but you don't want to get all your... All your messy stuff out. That's totally understandable. And whatever so you know they're a really good way of having your inky backgrounds but i've already made them for you and i used be crafty stamps inkables you can see there's the mandala there um and whatever so you've got that there but you haven't had to you know overdo it on either what you have in your stash or you know get all your inkies out so i'm going to put that there right so what we're going to do we're not going to start off with ink which is a really big deal for me um, and whatever but what we're going to do is we're going to rip up these sheets a little bit and sort of collage into the background okay so i think i'm going to go in with this as the base so i just need to sort of cut it down a little bit and then i think i'm going to give it a border okay and then we're going to gesso this down and then start building up from there. And we might bring in some paints and stuff as well. Um, you're looking forward to spending your bee crafty vouchers. Um, <clears throat> that's always good. Oh, whilst we're talking about that, let me just grab a trimmer. I did, I did come in to start tidying up today. So I spent 15 minutes cleaning a paint palette. Do you ever do that? You go into your room and you're like, yeah, I'm going to. Right, all, my paper, all my paper trimmers have disappeared. I have two. Oh, there's one. Um, <clears throat> do you ever do that? Come into your craft space or go to, you know, your dining room table, wherever is your craft. You think, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start having a bit of a tidy up. You know, really whittle down some of the mess I've made or whatever. And... Then you're like, oh, my paint palette's just so dirty. I can't, oh, I can't do anything until that's clean. And then your husband, children, whoever you live with, stick the red around the door and go, oh, where are you getting on? Brilliant, I've cleaned this paint palette. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was me today. So, there you are. Evening, Samantha. Oh, I forgot what day it was. I think that's perfectly normal. I saw this thing on Facebook earlier. And it was like, 
the 26th to the, of December to the 1st of January. Who am I? What day is it? What time is it? Is there somewhere I was supposed to be? And, and I, think, I think that's everybody, you know. So, that is not going to do it. I'm going to have to start buying my medium like Janie soon, I swear. Um, so, <clears throat> it's just about surviving for now, isn't it? Right, so here is our mop-up sheet. We're just going to put that in. Get my brayer, I think. Just give that a bit of a roll. Get that stuck down. Yeah. Rosie, are you feeling better after having COVID? Oh dear. Bucket load, I know. We need to petition, don't we, Janie? Ranger to start selling the collage matte medium because the thing is it's just so good because it dries mattes and everything that the, it's just a brilliant thing it's fabulous and we love it right so right, as you can see I've done I've used this like this before but I am just gonna rip off these borders now the reason I leave the straight borders on is because <clears throat> if you're card making or you're doing something where you do want a straight border they're really really handy to trim okay but <clears throat> it's one of those things you can create a ripped edge really easily but if you want an easy straight edge that's not always as simple so i think it's easier for us to rip that than it is for someone to who's maybe starting out that wants a straight one okay um because you know, we want everybody to be able to find it achievable, don't we? You know, one thing we don't want craft to be is like an exclusive club that people can't get in because that's not the point. Okay, so we're gonna stick that down. Oh, yes, that's pretty good. Okay, this is quite fun. Starting with papers, because obviously I usually start with ink and paint. I think I'm going to add some ink and paint in, but we'll do that in a bit. You're told on Thursday. Oh, my darling. Fingers crossed and everything for you. Okay. Alrighty. So, I'm going to take some more of the strips. I'm going to do the same again. So, to save time... I'm going to rip down these sides. Kim, if you need anybody to chat to or anything, you just let us know and me or Sam will give you a call, okay? At any point. And then we're going to take some more of these strips. So, right, we'll start with this one. This one's got a bit of a thin border between it, so I actually quite like that white line. We're going to use that and leave that in. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go for this one. I love this one because it's got the Bakewell on it. Honestly, Kim, I mean that if you need, if you need someone a bit more removed but to talk to, give us a bell, me or Sam will give you a ring. You know, send us a message. And then I'm going to go for this one here. I'm actually going to leave that intact for now. <laughs> you know, hopefully come back to it. Right. Do you know what? I think I might overlap them. Because um, I like how that's going to look. Yeah? Should I do the fifth one as well? Yeah, might as well, in for a penny. Right. But yeah, sometimes you just need to 
talk to someone who's not that you know who's not as close to it we can be that person okay so then <clears throat> so you've got these strips here so we're going to piece them up together okay um <clears throat> Like I said, this is the classics journal. So this is the Dilusions one that's got the three different, it's got the different colours in it, which are really really cool. Um, and I've got to be honest, some of the page I've done a few pages in here so far, and they're not really my favourite. So I really wanted to put something together that I was really really happy with. So let's go in some more medium here. Let's put that just over the top. Now, obviously, this doesn't need to match up perfectly. You know, I don't think that's something I've ever promoted within my journaling. Um, perfect alignment or anything like that. So I'm certainly not going to start now. Over this one slightly across here. Put that one on. Okay. Like I said, these will be back on the craft store. Um, <clears throat> in January. Um, so I will say at this moment in time, lots of people are asking because obviously we don't know what restrictions are going to be put in and whatever. Sam and I have absolutely zero plans to not go for our days. We will continue to to go as much as we can okay so yeah this is the butterfly ink um if the inky papers are something you like let us know because like i said me and sam are working on some um for the new year um it's, it's one of the things because we've only really done this pack it's something i forget about um and i was just playing with some today getting some inks and colors and stuff because i because i make them um i make them with the inks and papers and stuff in my craft room and then and stent and inkables and whatever and then we put them together right so i'm just gonna get do you know what? i'm just gonna let that dry just a second all right and then i'm gonna get some white card this is the sorry Dolly Dimples Mixed Media cardstock. Um, I've got some to play with because basically I didn't have any. Um, so, <clears throat> oh, Rosie, do you know, I saw you asking about tape. Sorry, I will just quickly cover that. I did see you were asking about tape if because it's, it's for your other half posters, isn't it? Now, if he's making a scrapbook with posters and things like that it's really important if you can to try and make sure the um, paper is acid and lignin free because otherwise it can eat away at things you want to save and i get the impression these are things he was wanting to save and cherish so you need to make sure your glue is acid free and the paper is acid and lignin free okay because <clears throat> otherwise it can degenerate okay i'm pretty sure most of the red red tape is super strong and that's something you're looking for okay red tape is really really super strong so it would be a good thing but you want to make sure you're getting one that is acid free all right my darling i didn't mean to get back to you on that but i haven't so now you're here that's perfect time right so i am using like i said the dragonfly the doodle art dragonfly now if you were to order these now um they would look slightly different you'd have the colored in front like that but it'd be on the front um because this is one of the original launches okay um so and it would say doodle art and stuff across the top okay so if you were to order these for example tonight um you would have the colored in bit on the front all right because we changed how we did things all right so we've got the dolly card here i have to say it's quite um good at taking quite a lot of the things i throw at it so that's quite nice right so i'm just going to ink up my you've seen I've, i have prepped some but i'm just going to show you while this this is drying so i'm going to ink up 
my doodle art dragonfly here. I'm going to stamp it down in this corner. So I've stamped with my versifying clay. And you can see you get all of those cool, wicked little details that I've put in, the little stitches, you know, all the bits that you want to come out. Okay. Oh, well, Tracy will definitely be stock restocking the 8x8 journals. We had a bit of a mad rush on journals um, last week before Christmas. It seemed like... Now, I'm not here to cast aspersions, okay? All I'm saying is, to myself and Samantha, it appeared as if lots of um, family members... Um, of crafters had gone oh she said get her a journal and that's how it came across because we had lots of orders for journals but obviously we can't get any while everything shut for Christmas so we just need to wait right <clears throat> so I've stamped this with Versifying Claire so the good thing about that is it means you can colour it with lots of different mediums but and this is when I'm doing my I'm not trying to say anything doobry because I was looking at my um, ink tense blocks earlier, thinking, do you know what? I haven't used them in ages. Okay, so I'm going to use them, right? Now, on the Dolly Mix Media card, for example, if you were to find, if you were to use these on the directly on the cardstock in your journal, or even on top of the map medium you would find that the ink tents would move a lot easier. Um, but it doesn't on this, because this is quite, a, it is reasonably absorbent. It's like a heavy weight watercolour card in a way, but it doesn't move a lot. Um, the good thing about it is you can throw a lot of medium at it. Um, let, me, let, let me show you. So, for example, like if I was to go in here with the lime green, okay, you can wash it out, look. But you do have to be reasonably quick if you don't want to lime because it does dry relatively quickly, which I love because I'm an impatient human. Okay? But then you can go in with your blue. Maybe go with a little bit of blue in there instead. You can still see still picking up that green. So you can create create that bit of intensity around there. I'm gonna go with my blue work around here these little jewels that I put in take a little bit more if you wanted to make sure this flooded out a bit better okay what I would recommend you do is put water on first and then take it out okay so for example if you were to put water there and then go in with your ink tents there it would be easier if to go with lunch. See what I mean? Because you've already wet that area of card. So, you're just playing, isn't it? All are good. I paused. Yeah, I do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so while I'm processing, I already talk at a million miles an hour. Sometimes I'm going faster than my brain's actually processing what I've already said. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I think definitely a light water wash first if you are going to use it primarily for watercolouring. But like I say, I have used it like this today and we've been all right. You know, after I'd finished cleaning my water palette, my um, paint palette, and you know what, it ain't even that clean. <laughs> 15 minutes I spent on that. Whatever. I don't mind. Bank holiday. Bank holiday. I haven't spent 15 minutes colouring a water palette if I feel like it. Right. You know, or you can bring in on mine what I've done. See, it's so much better than telly because I can go back to what I was thinking. You can bring in <clears throat> like your yellow into your green. There. 
and really sort of get a tonal. I thought I was buffering. Yeah, I was buffering. The internet wasn't. <laughs> okay, so then <clears throat> I can heat set these. And what I've done with mine, now you'll see, with stamp these, you do have the painty droplet details, which are really cool if you're stamping directly on. But obviously, I'm, I don't know why I said obviously. It's not obvious at all. But I, am, I have cut mine out. Um, and I do cut his legs off as well because I'm a heathen. Um, but what I've also done <coughs> with the ones I've got, let me put them up out the way. Okay, is I've used my. It is ink tense. But you could use your um, scribble sticks, you could use your. Distress both oxide and regular. I, I, I like to use my Super Skinny Slims as a, as a paint palette if I'm using ink pads or my blending mat. Um, uh, right, I've lost my chain of thought now. Sorry, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, so I've been using my Securas, there we go, to add in detail. So, for example, if I get this little chappy here. <clears throat> okay. So what I did was I, that's a Crayola Super Tip. I didn't use that. Okay. I like Crayola Super Tips too. <clears throat> and this is what we like to do in our lives. It's not just about what we're selling. It's things we like to use as well and how we use them together with the things we sell. Okay. So I've got a... Oh, that's not I've totally lost my thought. What am I doing? I've got a metallic jelly roll here and I've got two moonlight fluorescents okay so what I've been doing with these and I've done this once I've cut these out and you'll see why because I've done it on this one as well and on this one after I've cut them out okay to go around the edges I've used the metallic just to basically bring them together so that they are as one sort of a thing okay you can also because they're so opaque the moonlight fluorescence this is what i love you can go in with your yellow and add in some awesome dot details you know his body is slightly more detailed so if you don't feel confident with a paintbrush you can go in with your pens, okay. You can have, yeah, you could use e your eco lines mixed with water. They won't, your eco lines will not travel um, perfectly on the mixed media card because it's not a smooth enough surface. Um, so you would, I would recommend an eco line paper or <clears throat> in fairness, they do travel quite well in your dilutions journals, okay. But again, mix them with water on your blending mat or on your super skinny slim first. And you go with a brush and you're away. Right, so again, you know, you could use this to put in some bigger details. Go around here. Go around here. See, and just have him just play. And that's where <clears throat> you can add in the details. With, with your dragonflies as well. So it just... You know, it's all about having fun with them. And trust me, doing this is fun. It really is. Right. So this is going to be about dry now, I think. I think it says that with confidence. Right. <clears throat> I even did some leaves and things as well. So let's take, put all these on here again. So we've got those there. I've just finished the trifle with clotted cream. What are you guys doing to me? It's worse than watching Bake Off. Good lordy lord. I mean... This. Do you know, I love Bake Off. But for me, it's ten weeks of going, I've really got nothing pudding -y in the house. That's all it is. Because you're watching it and you're like, I want something pudding -y. And I haven't got anything pudding -y. Right. <clears throat> My sour apple teeny's not open. So 
don't think we need to add a bit of that in, don't we? Where are the scissors gone? I was using them earlier. So. Crafting is fun. Absolutely. But sometimes it can be frustrating. So I don't want to, you know. And But I will say this. If there's anybody watching who's just starting out. You know, you're just starting your crafting journey as we call it. And you're like, I'm getting so frustrated. And people go, it's fun and it's easy. And I'm, that's not how I'm finding it. It will come. I promise. There are, will be time where you just sit down. All, 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 all I do say is, if you are getting frustrated and you're like, this isn't going how I want. We've all been there. We're with you. It's honestly okay. Just take a step back and colour something in if that's what you enjoy. Or, do you know what I mean? Take it back to something where the last thing you enjoyed doing and go from there. Would be what I'd say. Okay. See, look at you talking about your puddings and I've just got my chocolate orange. Like I said, though, I ate too much of it. But I didn't eat the middle. Who else has that in their house? Do you have a fight for the middle of your chocolate orange? Won't be a fight for that one. It's mine. Right. So I have a little shake up of the doodles. I don't have a full stash of them. I have given some away. Um, but I have got some. Don't know where. What's that one? Sorry, I've just seen the one that isn't finished. Oh, look, there's that one. That's not finished. That's a starter one. Um, let me look behind me because I did stick some to the wall. Right, they're all gone. Must give them away. It happens. Right, so. Doo -doo -doo. Let's shake these up. So I think I'm going to use some of these on my inkable. Some of them I'm just going to go gently. So my lovely pa paint palette that I cleaned earlier. Ha ha. I'm going to put a little bit of paint in. So sorry, I'm using the Dilutions Blue Lagoon, Lemon Zest and Sour Apple Teeny. Okay, <clears throat> so I've given them all a bit of a shake up. I haven't taken the lid off this one though, so that's not going to work. I tidied my desk earlier as well and got Abby to put all my paints back on the shelf. Now she's going to come back in and go, seriously. <laughs> It's all right. So, does anyone have any exciting plans for New Year? I haven't successfully made plans for a new year since the millennium. What a disappointment that was. I think they got us all hyped up for the millennium that something big was going to happen and it didn't. So, I don't do New Year anymore. <laughs> I just don't. Who are you telling to go to bed? Rosie, go to bed. I agree. Right, I still haven't taken the thingy off. Oh my goodness, look at that. That might be a bit much. I might have to trade that in for a different green. That's a bit much for that, isn't it? No, I'm going to go for it anyway. Add a bit of zing. Bring on the Branston Tang. Right. But I do come, you know, a bit from the Peter K side of Branston. Don't eat out luminous like Piccolilly. You shouldn't eat out luminous. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blending tool and a blending foam. Okay. Because I want to get sort of like an even distribution of paint. Through these, I think I'm going to grab some big ones too. What I'll do is because I've got the Bakewell here... I'll get my absolutely awful, unclean, unclean um, Bakewell here. The one that my dad is absolutely appalled by. Because, you know, sometimes it's just fun to antagonise your dad. So I'm going to go in with some sour apple teeny. I think I've been a bit light-handed on that. How's that looking? Oh yes, I think so. Right, so we'll go a little bit sour apple teeny there. And then maybe, and I'm going to mix these all up because if they all come out, sort of blend together, I think that's actually going to work in my favour. 
and then we've got the blue lagoon so i think that's going to work really nicely with i'm going to bring that down and go over here like i said if these all blend together i think this is going to work even better so i'm not worried about that like i say i'm using me bakewell that is the texture paste one oh yes fantastic so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to look for a mister get some water in i lost my big sprayer so i'm just using mini misters right now right and we're going to spray all that paint on the I don't know what I was going to use it on that page, but I'm not. I'm going to go a bit further into the book. There we go. And I'm going to heat set that dilutions paint. Now, the fantastic thing about dilutions paint is it doesn't take that long anyway. So I'll give that a quick waft with my heat tool, and then we'll do add in some more. Sorry, I feel like I'm going really slow tonight, am I? Yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, don't overthink when you're crafting. Don't overthink when you're crafting. That is good advice. And then we're going to go with our mandala here. Don't know which one this is. This is where I would rely on a customer who's actually better than me to know. See, I've kept this. Dilutions paint can be ever so opaque, but I'm applying it with a sponge so it's still so we're not covering the pattern underneath. We can still see it. And then we've got our mandala there. Fantastic. And I'm going to do the same again. There's that page. I'll drop that in. Oh no, then that's pretty good. You know what? Let's just get our brayer. And lift that off. Oh yes, very nice. And then. So that with some water and that can go onto the black page okay and now i think we need some paint flicks another thing very quite heat tool bev yes that's how we know for sure it's me and not jane you see that's how we know right <clears throat> so i'm going to use my moonlight i'm sure if i was somebody better than me i'd know the colors but i don't I'm just going to go around the edge. This is just a doodly scribbly edge. I'm going to take it up to there. I'm going to do exactly the same with the yellow. Okay. Then we're going to get our Posca pen. Did I finish my six six before Christmas? I have one page that's drying because I forgot to stick something into it. I'm gonna take my Posca pen and put some just random white marks on here. So you don't have to do these these are just something i like to add in and i've been practicing funny enough um gail just saying about not overthinking um i've watched for example dina wakely do these for years and be like oh i just haven't got the confidence to freehand them on Turns out, yeah, you do. See if you just throw them on. You do have the confidence, it's fine. Maybe if 
section on the Alrighty. Okay, and then I'm going to take some Dilutions white linen. Yes, Tracy, it is finished, but the outer cover isn't finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outer cover and everything and show you it as a complete as a complete thing. I did do a page. Would you like to see the page? No, because it's it's pinned shut, it's pinned open and that page is thingy. So I'm going to put some white white linen on here. You know, you could take, for example, some of your other colours if you wanted to and spritz those on as well. So. But I am so chuffed. So thank you so much, guys, for your support in me getting that journal done this year. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll gain, gain some momentum and be able to do some more this year because my craft journal only has my little six by six craft journal has one page one double layout done in it so that needs significantly more that'd be a good one you never said no i did say i wasn't going to get the cover done um but I reckon I can I, I can have it done before 2022 if I go like the clappers. So, like I say, thank you very much. No, it's your guys' support. Well, you know, we support it's for each other, right? So back to the dragonflies that this page is for. So I'm gonna leave the leaves, the leaves, the wings a little bit of a bendy bendy. I like to. Okay, and I've also done some of on the dragonfly set is this leaf. It's a double leaf and then a spare leaf. But I will say the spare leaf is attached on the stamp. Um, but I'm thinking what I might do actually. Is join them together to make like a vine because I've got some of the spare leaves as well that I could add in. Should have done one of the flowers. So I could do that and put a word there, couldn't I? Or like that and put a word there. Choices, choices. So I'm just looking at it on the screen to see what I think. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to do the vine. I just don't know how I'm going to do that. So, <clears throat> just shows you a different way. It would make a good beanstalk. But I've literally just thought of that as I'm doing it. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes you do need, you need that. You need to be assembling which is why if you are you know say you're not getting your journal out and you just want to prep some bits you know do some dragonflies and whatever it's if you can be bothered it can be a good idea to do more than one the reason being is because you might be assembling and go oh it'd be good if i had an extra one Of course I like support. Who doesn't like support? Do you know what I mean? And, and this is the thing. When, you know, I come on and say, hello, my little bee crafty community that we are, because we are a small one, and whatever. I mean that in a, we are a community. We are, should I turn that one to there? Or the top one downwards, do you think? Oh, I think the middle one. Um, which means we support each other it's not just me and Sam's supporting you 
few of those supporting us too. So, there you are. Doing that, and then I'm going to put this one slightly underneath. That way, it doesn't look quite so regular. Okay, so you're going to go there, buddy boy. You're going to go like that, and then we could be the bee crafty reprobates. Could be. I'm going to say. You have met the Bee Crafty creative team, right? I love them all, dearly. Some more than others. I'm just saying, there seems to be a Give Bev and Sam chocolate war going on at the minute. Sarah, Sally is currently in the lead. But seriously, don't anybody send us any more chocolate. We're drowning in it. <clears throat> and it could actually kill Sam. <laughs> Oh, made myself laugh and I coughed. Right. So I need some words. Need some words. So we need... I'll tell you what, I'm very much into ticker tape one right now, honestly. I was going to say, I shouldn't really laugh, should I? I'm talking about that could kill some, but you know. Here we go. I think this is a good one. Look for something positive in each day, even if some days you have to look harder. I think that's a good one for today. Good one for everyone. All right, so. Let's just push this to the side once more. And we're going to take go back to this piece of Dolly Dimples card here that is the only have use it a lot I use it a lot like a lot a lot a lot and I do like the the other sets and I come to them and I use my small words obviously I'm a small journal quite a lot but I think it's one of those things it's um it's obviously a regular size set okay um and I think a lot of the time people don't think it necessarily works with the bigger journals, but I actually do. I think it works really, really well. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really forgiving because of the because of the lines on it. Right, let's just take that bit of paper away as well because I think it helps you to see the page as well. Oh, do you want me to take that bit of paper back? Right, so I'm just going to heat set that so when I cut it out I don't smudge it, smudge it. Um, you really love the project? Oh, that's brilliant, Carol. I'm glad. Me too. That's Shireen. She is a shenanigator. For those that um, are saying they're making up words again, Shenanigator was one of Sam's words that she came up with quite a while ago. <coughs> and it is a term for, we use, for the instigator of shenanigans. Therefore, they are a shenanigator. You see. Now, if you aren't a member of the Bee Crafty Stamps group, why not? You should, it's marvellous. Become a member of the Bee Crafty Stamps group on Facebook. It is where Sally runs her monthly challenge. Um, and, you know, so you get some inspiration, a bit of a kickstart if your mojo is lacking. Okay. But also, where you'll sometimes find Shireen being a shenanigator and not knowing what to stamp, so she stamps her face. And that is a true fact, because that is what absolutely happened. So, yeah. Shenani Gator. It's not like a cross between shenanigans and an alligator. Though, you know. You can never have too many sentiments laying around. Totally agree. 
Sentiments, random words. Do you know what? I'm going to go for a look for something positive in each day. As if that's a standalone sentiment there. And then, even if some days you have to look harder as you go down the page. The Bee Crafty Stamps Group, Tracy. <coughs> right. Yeah, see? We all saw Shenanigator. Shireen, you did make I laugh quite loudly as well. There's my bulldog clips because I think I'm going to have to clip that down whilst everything dries. Oh yeah, that's better. You were supposed to make a Jack and the Beanstalk page. Wicked! That's good. I could do one with one of me journaling girls. Because whilst not completely in the doodle art style that I do, the journaling girls are similar. They just don't have as many um, extra loose lines. Okay. Um, so they would. So they would work. So <clears throat> I could do a Jack and the Beanstalk page with a girl. You saw that and wondered what it was about. Shireen shenanigating. That's what it was about. Because she is the shenanigator. And she can't deny it because we've all seen her. She needs a bit more. On here. Um, there isn't any white on my dragonflies. And that's all kind of messing with my mind. I'm not going to lie. I think it's pretty much done. I think it's done. Do we think it's done? I think we're very equal opportunity. We do not conform to gender stereotypes at Be Crafty. Gender stereotypes at Be Crafty went out the window when many years ago, um, before we did our own stamps and anything like that, um, we were, we were all trying to learn parchment craft. Sam and I both knowing immediately we did not have the patience for it. Um, however, her six foot five mechanic who has hands the size of shovels was excellent at it. Excellent at it. So yeah. We gave up on gender stereotypes a long time ago. Right. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> I. Am honestly exceedingly delighted with this page. I think I might add a few more leaves in. When I've got some more. Um, I would think I might stamp up some more of the little ones. And just add them in. Make it a bit more floofy. Um, and yes floofy is a word. But aside from that. I think she's done. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. There you go. That's a bit awesome, isn't it? I'm loving it. And I actually really like the out away from the edge. Does that count as white space? Because I didn't go right to the edge. I think that counts as white space. I really do. I'm willing to take that one. And run with it. No, I can't eat any more chocolate orange, honestly. I want to make myself bad. I really can't. <laughs> 
All right then, guys. Okay, so rest of the week, as I understand it, unless I have been, you know, misinformed or I got it wrong. Tomorrow, Sam is in crafting together with all friends, or crafting together because everyone loves each other, as she likes to call it. Um, she has such a lovely time in there. Okay, so she is there tomorrow. Um, Janie is back on a Thursday at 8 p.m and then sam will be back here on new year's eve for um chit chat friday i'm sure she'll let you know what time a bit close to the time um but it won't be too late because although we have made it past the solstice obviously it's not exactly light of the evenings yet is it so you know you can't expect too much so yeah if you are thinking right do you know what i want to do some journaling or I want to make something tomorrow. Start with the stamp you want to use and colour it. Colour it with the colours you want. Okay? Because that will give you a leaping off point for the rest of your project. And the rest will come. I absolutely promise you. As we were saying to Kim earlier, you know, if you need a a chat, someone to talk to, that applies to everybody. Okay? Don't be by yourself, don't be worried. We are here. And Sam could talk the hind legs off a donkey. Phrase I've never really understood. But you know what I mean. All right then, guys. Go and have a fantastic evening. Bye-bye.